Hey you guys and welcome back to Brand Slam Week. Today I am going to be doing a wear test, first impressions on the Revolution Matte Base Full Coverage Foundation. I also have the powder so I'm going to be testing out the matte base powder as well. I hope you guys have been enjoying Brand Slam Week on Makeup Revolution. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. Kind of late morning now. I meant to film this video a lot earlier but then I started doing laundry. Then I started doing my property taxes. Also my hair is wet because I just washed it. I don't really like to blow dry my hair so I'm just gonna let it air dry in this video. I have the shade F 8.5. They actually have a bunch of shades. Makeup Revolution is pretty good with having a lot of shades. Hopefully this one matches me. I have no idea. It's really hard to purchase things online, especially when I feel like at least with Makeup Revolution, a lot of their shades don't coincide. Their other foundation lines and even in their concealers, 8.5s in one foundation range aren't the same as 8.5s in another. Hopefully this one works for me. I'm just going to use the back of my hand. Oh, it has like no scent at all. That's kind of nice. I don't really like scented products, at least not makeup products. So I'm just going to dot this onto my face. By the way, I am not wearing this with any primer at all. I actually just forgot to use primer. So we'll see how this kind of wears without primer on my skin. I'm going to use my Quo face sponge to blend this out. The shade match is definitely too light for me, but the powder that I got, which by the way is an F8, is a lot deeper. Like that's quite deep, so hopefully it'll kind of balance out the colors here. Blended out pretty easily. It didn't seem to dry down too fast. The sponge did blend out the product really nicely. I wouldn't say this is full coverage. Of course, with a sponge, you're automatically going to get less coverage, but even so, I feel like that's very little coverage on my skin right now. Not like in a bad way, like I don't mind having less coverage. Just considering that it says that it is full coverage, I feel like this is not quite full coverage. I don't know. So I just applied a little bit more product onto the blemished area of my skin. It does look nice and matte on my face. Like I know I've been going for a very dewy look lately. So this is definitely a change up for me and it does look very matte almost dry i want to say hopefully with like a setting spray and stuff like that it'll it won't look quite as dry pore blurring i'm not quite sure face definitely looks smoother with a foundation like versus this side and this side but i wouldn't say it's pore blurring but then again i don't know i don't really pay attention to the pores on my face anyways i just took a little bit more product and i want to do the other side of my face i feel like it looks kind of nice like i don't know again i'm not like such a fan of matte foundations right now i haven't really been wearing matte foundation i mean it does feel very smooth on my face probably don't need to set it at all but i do want to test out the powder so i will like, it doesn't look terrible on my face again like the coverage is i'd say like a medium coverage with a sponge but my dark circles are really bad today I'm actually going to put a little bit of this under my eyes. I don't really want to use another concealer on top of this. Use the foundation to cover up these dark circles. I still have sparkles all over my eyes from yesterday's video where I was trying out like a first impressions of Makeup Revolution products. I mean, it's not great, but it did cover a little bit under there. I'm actually going to go straight into the powder, I think, and test this out with you guys. For my under eye area, I'm actually just gonna use my Milani Prep Setting Glow Powder. This is a very like glowy product, so hopefully it will kind of counteract the matteness of my skin right now. The powder that I have is in the shade P8. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't feel like these shades correspond with the foundation. The foundation is 8.5 and this is 8 and it's so dark. So I'm going to go in with this powder brush from BH Cosmetics. This has a bit of like a makeup-y scent. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it definitely smells like makeup versus like the foundation that smelled like nothing. I am using this as a setting powder, not a powder foundation, but I feel like it does have pretty good coverage because I can see the deeper color coming through. Like if you were to use this with a more like dense brush, like a foundation brush, and use it as a powder foundation, you might be able to make that work. Definitely has pretty decent 
coverage. So this is what my face looks like with the powder on it now. My skin does look pretty dry. I'm more like a normal combination skin type, but it definitely looks dry as it sits on my skin right now. It does look smooth, like in the viewfinder, my skin looks quite smooth, which is nice. It's kind of different from having like glowy skin. This definitely looks blurred and a little bit more flawless. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup, then I will pop back in and show you guys what it looks like. By the way, it is like 10.30 right now, 10.31. Okay, so that's the rest of my makeup on. Quickly go through everything that I used. All of the face products come from the iHeart Revolution Praline Palette. I really like this palette, by the way. Eyeshadow is, well, like, there's very little eyeshadow, but I used the Soph X Extra Spice Palette. And then I also am wearing the Revolution Mascara. I did spritz my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, which did help a lot. Like, it kind of made everything sink into my face a little bit more. Things don't quite look as dry and powdery right now, especially even with like the highlighter. Things look a lot better. The lip I'm wearing is the L'Oreal Colorish Lipstick in the shade Sparkling Rose. You guys will see in the close-up how it's all looking. It's ended up looking a lot better. Like I like it a lot more now that everything else is applied. I don't think my skin looks dry. It does look a little bit heavy. Like I would say that it's not something that's going to look natural on your skin. Now that everything's applied, it definitely looks better than it did before. I totally forgot that I have laundry sitting in the dryer downstairs and I really hope nobody moved it out of the dryer. One time that happened to me, it made me so mad when somebody took all my laundry out and moved it in so that they could use the dryer. That really irked me, especially since I was like a minute late. So I'm gonna wrap up the first part of this video right now. I will check back in with you guys in about five hours. So around 3.30, I'll probably be at my parents' house by then, but I will give you guys a check-in. I'll let you know how it's holding up. I guess I will see you guys later. Hey, you guys, so it is currently, oh, we have somebody with us. We are babysitting a wiener dog right now. Gotta get better lighting, but now the dog's sitting on me. It's been about five hours. It's 3.30 right now. I think it's rubbed off in places because Gretchen has been licking my face. I mean, I can't really tell because the lighting sucks. Give you guys a better check-in at the end of the night. I just can't really move right now because she's sitting on me. Hello. Okay, Gretchen left for a little bit, so I'm just turned around and gave you guys a, oh, she's back, she's back. I'm just trying to show you guys the foundation in natural lighting. I think it looks pretty good. Good. It doesn't look super cakey or anything on my face. It has rubbed away around my mouth a little bit But like so far, I think it still looks pretty good. It has been on my face for about five and a half hours You will see how it performs for the rest of the day. Hey you guys, so it is currently 8 30 in the evening and this is what the foundation is looking like it held up pretty good oil wise like I don't feel greasy or anything I just came back from a walk it doesn't look great up close like I feel like it's kind of sitting weird on my skin like it's kind of separated but oil wise it's definitely pretty good can't even tell if it's the powder on top or the foundation that's kind of breaking away weird but my skin definitely doesn't look great right now I feel like some of the coverage disappeared as well especially with my freckles but anyways I'll keep testing out the foundation I'll see how it wears um, when I go to work. So I'll let you guys know in a future video how I like the foundation using a different technique or different products underneath or on top. But that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. There's somebody right here. Who's that?